In today's video, I've invited seven lucky subscribers into my neighborhood, and each of them is going to be building a house in this new town. As you can see, the colors on their podium correspond to the colors in the houses, and the gray one over there is for me. While they're building, I'm going to be observing with my beady eye. I'm watching you. But I'm also going to be decorating the streets Street of the, of the town. town, adding bus stops, parks, that kind of thing. Everyone gets a budget of $50,000. There's a 45 minute timer. And if you want a chance to build in one of the next videos, just subscribe and like the video. And let's go meet the contestants. This is Ain. It's going to build. Ain doesn't quite know. Armani's going for a modern look. Hello, Leah. Love your outfit. Suburban. She's going for that SpongeBob vibe. Julia is going for modern suburban. Oh, a little bit of a trend going on here. Rafi is doing modern dark wood. Okay, Cheryl Blossom. Kosham Mijinzi is doing modern. Feet is doing a cottage. So all that's left to do is set all of that budget. And sadly, Anne just had to go, but she's been replaced with Ant now. Three, two, one, go! And oh, I've, got, I've been thrown to the streets. So I need to quickly set my timer. Okay, I've started on my iPad, guys. Yes, I'm an iPad kid. And whoa, you guys ain't wasting no time. You're getting straight onto it. My job while you guys are being busy builders over here is to decorate the streets. I might decorate this house a little bit. Just kind of have a little fun, chill video. So first of all, I'm getting rid of these. And the first stage really of any town is to add in the pavement. Never just add a road without a pavement because it'll just look rotten and honestly, like an amateur. And notice how I've left like a little space between these houses. That is going to be for a nice park. Maybe we'll do that after the road, actually. Uh, we have got some talent in here. Look at these pillars down here. I would never think to do that. He's smart. Over here, we've got some awesome looking roofs going on. When I do these types of building challenges with you guys, I feel like such a new builder. And oh, do you see what I mean? I can't even build a straight line, let alone these amazing houses. Now, the people who are going for two-story houses, they are very brave because I don't know if I could build a two-story house with 50k, to be honest. I mean, I did build the world's cheapest house once, so... And lots of you guys ask me, one of my most common questions is, Reese, how do you think of your videos? First of all, guys, I mostly get them from you. When you guys leave comments down below, that is one of my favourite ways, because I know it's what you guys really want. The second way is, sometimes I'm just lying in bed, and I'm like... <gasps> And then I honestly just think of an idea like in my bed and that was this morning I was like, what should I film today? And then it came to me I haven't done a subscriber build challenge in yonks This here is gonna be the park and since I'm the mayor of this town I think I'm allowed to add fences attaching to the houses and I highly recommend using linen and white wood And then of course we will connect all of these but so far look at how well some of these are going and you may be wondering Reese's well, there's loads of space around here. What's that all about? I'm thinking if you guys really really like this video, I'm going to do a part two where we fill up the rest of the town with another seven contestants. And the reason I didn't do that today is because one, I'd actually need a million dollars. And two, I think it would be a little bit complicated to have 16 people on at once. In the corner of the park, we'll have a couple of these fountains. And this could be like a nice snack place, you know, a picnic bench. And oh my gosh, it's already been 38 minutes, guys. Oh no, it hasn't been 38 minutes. We've got 38 minutes left. It's been seven though. What have I done for seven minutes? Added some floor. And then a couple of people left, so I kind of had to sort that out their replacement. And back to the park. So Victoria has taken over this house, which, oh my god. Oh my god. Is that a custom door? I am flabbergasted. Like, this town has literally been put up in moments. Like, I've just turned my head for two seconds. <laughs> anyway, we can actually get rid of some of these white lines now. And there we go. That's a cute park. So my next challenge was going around and deleting all of the fences. And oh, I accidentally deleted the road, but I can't press my luxurious back sign today. But if we do that, then we're going to probably backspace all these people's beautiful homes. By the way, I forgot oh, part of my job as judge is to look at everyone's progress. <gasps> Okay, this is looking amazing. Over in this house, it's like a kitchen's being made. Over here, oh yes, you guys know how much I love this white ice texture. And I love what she's done. She hasn't been obvious with this roof at all. She's got a little bit of a flat bit going on here. She's even got like a, a back garden. This one's
one's on my favorite so far, maybe along with this one over here. Now it's time to reach into my inventory and, and is it just me or is loads of your guys has taken so long to load down here? I'm gonna actually put in chat first of all. Also, you can use cars for garages if you have them in my inventory. I don't know if anybody actually has a garage in their house, but somebody might have them now. <laughs> Now, I was a little bit of a fool when making this road. Well, yes and no. Originally, I was going to make the road four wide because then when you go to add the markings in the middle, as you can see, it's very central. However, when I was building that, I thought this is quite a small town. Like, She's just a small town girl. I wanted it to only be three wide. So there's quite an easy way to fix this. It just makes it a little hard to place. You just resize a basic cube. Where it kind of gets hard is it's like a little hard to make it easy. Even. And did you guys know the markings on the road are actually there to make you aware of your speed? I learned that in one of my driving lessons. If everyone's making houses, then look at the one I was meant to be working on. Maybe we'll do a little bit of this next. I did say this was going to be a bit of a chaotic video, but honestly, it's about the subscribers today, and I can't wait to see everyone's build at the end. And also, you guys are the other judges. Yes, I'm the main judge because obviously it's on my plot, but I want you guys to comment your vote on who you think should win. And the most liked comment will be the winner. What roof do I really like that I can kind of nab? I think this one is especially nice. I quite like what they had with it anyway, just extend it up a little bit. And the little trick for the roof is always add more than you think. So I'm going to have another little one coming out the front as well. Then I'm going to make use of these large pillars, <laughs> which I know are a little big. Normally you'd have them on a little bit of a larger mansion, but you know, sometimes more is more. And in chat, so many people are asking how much time, how much time. So I'm going to put 18 minutes left because that's how long's left on my iPad. But I might add a 15 minute bonus just because I think it's better to let them finish it. For the windows, we're going to build it how I built my dream house windows, if any of you remember that. If you don't know how to do bold windows, which is what I personally like to call them, you need to make sure you get the standard square beam. It's probably the most simple building hack known to Bloxburg. It's just outlining the window. They are very expensive though. Maybe we should have the stairs like in the corner might be the most space efficient. If you're ever trying to be space efficient, use corners. And now before I struggle with the layout, we are saving that till next time. As I said, this was just a little bit of an exterior, bit of fun. So next up, an important part about a town is trees. You've got to surround a tree. No, you've got to surround a town with lots of trees. I don't know about you, but it takes a lot of talent to have a town that looks good from the back in Boxburg. I mean, look at this. You can only really make big buildings like my castle look good from the back. As I said earlier, we're going to be ignoring the front of the town because this is for a potential part two. Although I do want to add some fences just in case we don't do a part two and I still want it to look a dapper. And this feels like a really close community, doesn't it as well? Like I would love to live in this neighborhood, but like someone called like Sally lives here and then like Mark and Jessica over here. Let's have another update on people's progress. This is astounding. So I love it in here. I love it. How do people think of these such intelligent ideas for their builds? <laughs> Victoria, is is this heaven? Ah! Like, this is very Christmassy in this one. Next up, I want to add some zebra crossings. I don't know if you call them zebra crossings in America, but in England, this is basically those crossings with like the cool looking lampposts at each end, to be fair. Did you know it's illegal to not stop at a zebra crossing? So if you guys are waiting at one and someone just speeds past, they're breaking the law. And then some other bits and bobs that we could add around are some trash cans. It's trying to save the planet for us. Hello, I'm so angry. So with street lamps, there is a little building hack with the holiday ones. As you can see, that's the holiday lamp post, and this is the regular lamp post. As you can see, there's actually some differences. This one is much thicker, it has a much bigger base, and basically just doesn't look like a skinny Victorian twig. <laughs> And we can also get the little twisty on the sides. And really now, guys, I think I've done everything I can. So for these last 15 minutes, I'm just going to give a nice aerial view of the town while everybody finishes off their buildings. And 15 minutes later, the time is up. All of the contestants are currently in their houses right now, scrambling to change all of their decals. Where is it? Where is it? But before we look around, I thought I wanted to have a little look at the plot value, which is 768,000. Not too shabby for a town. So we are the three judges and it's time for the judging to commence. This over here is house number one. Let's give it a knock. 
And this is owned by Anthony. Hello, Anthony. From the outside, I just want to say this is definitely one of the most aesthetically pleasing, aesthetically aesthetic houses. And I love how the doors are diagonal. It's nice that it's different. It is unusual. It's nice. It is it's nice. Different. It's different. It's it is nice. It's unusual. First of all, oh, I really like this seating bit. You guys know I'm a fan of that. In here, you have the entry and the kitchen. It's beautiful. Look at this artwork. And I like how he wasn't boring with a dining table. He, he instead chose an island and then tried to open planet into the lounge and light dining area. Well, I think you've done an amazing job. Now, the upstairs was rushed, but hey, let's go up. Okay. Oh, I like the hallway. Would you agree with me, Ben? This is a little bit basic. He even said that himself, but not in a bad way. And I like the glass windows, letting a lot of light in. In here is the bathroom. It's like this is the bedroom. I like this a lot. I am going to give each of them a rating. I'd say 8 out of 10. By the end of the day, it's up to you guys to comment and just comment their usernames. Next up, we have Armar Armani. Oh, wow. She's a designer girly. Once again, from the outside, definitely one of the most aesthetically pleasing. Like, this is giving apartment. I love the front porch as well, by the way. It's absolutely stunning. So, <gasps> As we go in, we kind of have this open plan kitchen space, which kind of feeds into the living room. And there's another secret room in there. And it is a basic one bed house. It's really nice. And I love how the windows can like look onto everyone else's houses. And whoa, bathroom downstairs, so nice. I did not know I even had them in my inventory. So that was smart of her. Oh, that is really pretty. I agree. And then upstairs, oh, cute. So she's got some magazines on the bed. Oh, Stranger Things. Millie Bobby Brown. Looking Girl, yes. Millie Bobby Brown has your exact location. And again, the windows, one of my favorite parts. <laughs> she even added a pinata. Oh my God. I'm proper going for it. <laughs> Thank you now. We will be off to the next house. So I think the next one will go this way to Porshamanjizi and <laughs> Hannah, the other judge. That's where she got to. So from the outside, she went for a bungalow vibe. I mean, this is really cute. She's right next to the park. I like this look inside. Okay, Hannah, getting a little bit ahead of us. Oh! <laughs> actually scared me. That is so funny. Okay, so here is the lounge. The lounge room's actually really, really nice. <laughs> and then the kitchen. This is probably one of the most detailed ones we've seen so far. And remember, guys, they only had an hour total and 50,000 budget. So that just makes it even more impressive. In here is, oh yeah, I forgot it's a bungalow. So we've got the bedroom down here. Very nice. Very nice. This is the bathroom. Oh, a nice turtle on the wall. And I feel bad doing any of them. Not nine out of 10. Oh, I almost put zero out of 10 now. Next up, we have Victoria. So Victoria took over for somebody at the end. And as you told me, you shouldn't have changed anything from the previous builder. I left outside as it was. That is amazing. So in loving memory of whoever's house this was before, but Victoria took over and <laughs> got a duck underneath that. But let's just keep that closed for now. Wow, Vicky, this is stunning. She's kept these chairs a nice natural color and she's gone for a Paris vibe. Although small Vicky, it's absolutely stunning. I love Love the amount of detail you've put in this kitchen and the bedroom. Oh, you've got a little rock lamp. That is smart, Vicky. It's so cozy. I'm giving this 10 out of 10. Obviously, it's not up to me, but that is my vote. And then <laughs> over here was my house, guys. Um, this is Raffi. Hello, Raffi. This exterior is bewildering me. Ice, and I love this corner bit for the stairs. Please invite me in. You have the dining room straight as you walk in this house. I quite like that. I like it being in your face. I think Raffi might have been a bit nervous. There's quite a lot of mistakes. As you can see, these uncolored tile, like unfilled in shelves, but I'm not gonna pull them up on that. We also have a lounge room, which I will admit I did help with because Raffi was struggling. So I came and helped. You guys are in a crisis. I'm on my way. And then we also have a downstairs bathroom that's very popular in this build challenge. And oh, is that Raffi in the past? Not me in my pink hair era. You would have had to be a fan like a year and a half ago. <laughs> He put, no, I mean, I don't know who that is. Here is the bedroom. It is so beautiful. I love this house. Although there is a few mistakes, I am still going to give it a nice 8 out of 10. Now we have Julia. Julia, this is a beautiful exterior. I can tell I'm going to love it. What does it look like from the back? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 
Hello, hello, hello. So here we have the entrance. <gasps> Julia, were you trying to please me with this vibe? You know I love the dark oaks. You know I love these high, kind of paintings. So we have the kitchen over here, which she used some of my coffee machine, some microwaves, some cereal bowls. Here's the bathroom. It's kind of rushed. You wouldn't tell though. As we go upstairs, oh, <laughs> Raffi trying to scare me. What is this? Scare Reese's day. We have some more of this gorgeous Victorian artwork and then another bathroom. Finally in here is the bedroom. Oh! <gasps> 10 out of 10. I might be being a little bit biased because I love this style so much. You are so welcome. And then finally, Evelyn, been waiting ever so patiently. This is outside of Evelyn's house, which was actually built by somebody else. In here, it's so good to be home. Isn't it just? Downstairs, she went for a green vibe. Now, this does kind of look like a house, you know, in real life when you go look around them. Like, it hasn't got the furniture in, but it's got, like, the main infrastructure. She's very family-orientated. Live, laugh, and love. <laughs> that is such, like, a Facebook mum thing to say. As we go upstairs, ooh! Oh, wait! This is the house I actually helped decorate because she was struggling. If you notice any of my techniques in here. But the bedroom was all her. And how stunning is this bed? But, Evelyn, I think you get a solid 8 out of 10. So, as this video draws to a close, I want to say a massive thank you to each each and every person who is in this video, do subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below if you want me to do more videos with subscribers. Thanks to everyone who watched this. Don't forget to vote, and I'll see you all in the next one.